I am finally back from my trip and there has been so many advanced fence balls gone. One of the most exciting things is the Minimax model. This is a newer company that just released their first open source large scale hybrid attention reasoning model called the Minimax M1. The Minimax M1 is something that excels in complex productivity focused tasks while consistently outperforming many closed source models and standing toe to toe with top proprietary models like Claude 4 as well as OpenAI's O3 model. It also performs exceptionally well on the Sway Bench Verify test, a benchmark that measures a model's ability to solve real-world software engineering tasks. But what's really crazy is the fact that Minimax M1 isn't just powerful, it's pushing the boundaries of open source AI. It supports an industry-leading 1 million token context window, which is matching Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro, and delivers an unmatched ADK token reasoning output. That's eight times more the context of DeepSeek R1, allowing it to handle long, complex, multi-step reasoning tasks at scale, where we have never seen this before in the open source community. And the reason why is because of their proprietary hybrid attention architecture, which is featuring a lightning attention mechanism that makes it remarkably efficient at processing long inputs and performing deep inference. And now say if you are interested in locally installing this, well, you can definitely do so. There's two different models, the 80K context token reasoning output, as well as the 40K one. Now you can easily access it through the Gradio demo off of Hugging Face Spaces. You also have the ability to access the open weights through GitHub. You can even start chatting within their chatbot that I'll leave a link to in the description below. But the main reason why I wanted to highlight Minimax is because of the agent that was created and powered by the Minimax model. This is the M1 AI agent, an open source autonomous agent that's designed to handle complex multi-step tasks with minimal supervision. Thanks to the M1's record-breaking 1 million token context window, this is an agent that will be able to code out large-scale projects seamlessly. It's gonna be able to generate advanced visualizations, and even process complex data structures. This is an agent that can even manage multi-step reasoning across long documents or extensive code bases. The M1 AI agent isn't just fast, it's capable in many ways while being open source, which is insane. Just take a look at it live in action. This is where it created a team building web app. And this is where it lets you discover highly rated budget-friendly spots for 10 person team outings. And it was able to create this simple app within a couple of minutes. And this was all done powered by the M1 model with the Minimax agent. Here is the M agent or the Minimax agent live in action. And this is where you can assign it tasks to the agent, like creating a report and easily exporting the output as a PDF or a doc file. And you can see it does a pretty good job in creating a comprehensive report for this prompt that was given. Here is another prompt that was sent into the agent to create a 3D builder arena where you can create, simulate, and share 3D blocks. And this is where it was requested to build a custom 3D world with physics, modeling anything that you can imagine, and saving unique configurations. And in this case, that did a pretty good job in terms of generating this basic 3D arena. In essence, the Minimax agent is like a general open source agent, but it's only accessible through the cloud right now. But if you want, you can use the M1 agent or the M1 model to power your agent with different platforms like Nathan or Vectorshift. In this case, if you're going to be creating an account and accessing it through their chatbot, you're going to need to actually subscribe to access the cloud compute, which might not be worth it, but I guess you get a thousand credits on a monthly basis, but you can easily run through the credits, which is why I recommend that you use the model because it's pretty lightweight and you can easily connect it to Nathan and create your agents powered by the Minimax model. But for the sake of this video, we're going to be showcasing the Minimax M1 powering this agent and showcasing the capabilities like coding, creating web pages, PowerPoints, and so much more. In this case, you can see there's so many different prompts where people are able to create many different things like a Tesla stock analysis. In this case, it was given this prompt and it created this dashboard for the Tesla stock with the financial analysis, you have the technical analysis, market sentiment, and so much more. 
Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So let's get started and showcase the agent. In this case, I'm going to have it create me a functional Twitter clone, and I'm going to make it so that there is a functional chatbot integrated within the chat the platform itself and you can see that the task is being received and it's being processed with the different agents so there's multiple agents that will work on executing this task and you can see the live visualization of it on the right hand panel currently it looks like it's breaking it down within steps creating the research and the plan for this uh, app that we're creating so let's see what it actually ends up building for us What's also interesting is that it has so many tools attributed to the agent itself where it has the ability to use browser use to see the generation live in action. It also has the ability to use different terminal based commands using image search, web search, and so much more. And there we go. It looks like it has finished developing our Twitter clone. And what's nice is that you can view all the files and you can even simply install all of them so that you can easily work with it locally and edit different components that you want to specifically work on. Now, what we'll do next is simply click on share and get the link, and we can actually take a look at it live within the demo space that it has developed. In this case, it created an authentication system too for us. We're gonna just simply try out a demo account. And once you log in, you can see that this is a pretty cool looking Twitter clone that actually works. In this case, I can write in a tweet. I can say that I'm currently filming a video and then I can tweet it and you can see that it has been posted. It also focused on creating all the regular pages that you would see within Twitter. It is also something that did a pretty good job in generating our AI assistant chatbot that works. So in this case, if you want, you can ask it things like hello and it will actually respond back to you. So this is something that was fully created within a couple of minutes with the help of the Minimax agent, and it did a pretty good job with a simple prompt that was sent in. What's also nice is that the Minimax agent gives you the ability to upload files, and it also lets you connect to Google Maps as well as the Minimax chat bot. But what's also cool is that they have an MCP marketplace. This is where you can simply add the different types of servers that you want to integrate within your generation. We have the ability to integrate Notion, Slack, Figma, and so many other things like even GitHub. Here is another example of what it's able to output. This is a statistics learning course that it had developed, and you can see all of the different components that it was able to fully generate within the Minimax agents workspace. And it is something that does a pretty good job in terms of generating all these different things based off the prompts that you give it. There's so many different examples which you can see within their catalog over here, whether that's research, different PowerPoints. In this case, you can see the PowerPoint output that it has generated. This is the output of the PowerPoint that it had generated with animations and pictures all fully generated with the help of AI, which is awesome. And remember I said that you have the ability to integrate MCPs like the Google Maps MCP server. And in this case, it has added that within this app that the model was able to create. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. This was all possible thanks to the Minimax M1 model, which is the open source model that is super powerful and super lightweight with the 1 million context window. I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. Let me know what you guys think. I do recommend that you use this model with another agent builder, not their chatbot because it is something that's paid. But if you are to connect it to something like Nathan, you can easily use this lightweight model that is super powerful for many different purposes. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Follow me on the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day.
spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.